Uh, leave me alone artist signed under Ronnie J. Is that correct? Yes, indeed. How'd y'all meet up? So basically, I was releasing music on SoundCloud, and he ended up coming across a very popular song. And he went into my DMs, he hit me up, and he decided to want to make the choice to work, and he wanted to sign me to his label. And I was really with it, so yeah, he he got in touch with me through my DM on Instagram, and then he flew me out to New York and all that stuff, and that's how I got signed. Hell yeah, that, that's dope. That'd be dope as hell if, for any for any up and coming artist, because Ronnie J out here, you know, he's uh, producing for Eminem, he produced for X, he produced for Denzel Curry, and being an artist from Florida as you are, that shit must have been just hella dope. Him sliding in your DM like that. Definitely. Let's see. Do you have something that inspires you to keep on going with your music? I know you started in the SoundCloud scene. That shit can kind of be tough for up-and-coming rappers. So what kind of inspires you? I honestly do not know. But I would have to say my family and the fact that money is a pain in the butts. So getting paid and making music is good. But... Then again, yes, it, it really is my family, because they all have, and just being able to make music and spend time with people who you love or trying to work things out with, it's amazing, so I gotta say my blood family. Hell yeah, that's how it go. Alright, so, you're from Florida, whereabouts in Florida are you from? Orlando. Orlando? Uh, yeah, I've been down yeah. there a few times, that's pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Orlando and a lot of places, actually, because I moved around a lot, even when really young, so, Orlando, Okoe, stuff like that, uh, Winter Garden, Apopka, everything. Alright, right, I see you out there. Alright, I see you got that No Smoke video coming soon. I'm actually excited as fuck for that. I've been fucking with that No Smoke since you got signed by Ronnie J. Oh, we can curse. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, yeah, we can curse. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just gonna bleep out mine. I'm gonna let yours go, dude. You can curse all you want, bro. I'm gonna okay. bleep out. My t I'm in college. My teachers don't give a fuck, so. I'm it's trying all not to curse and shit. <laughs> nah, bro. It's, no, don't worry. This is like a no-jumper type shit. I don't give a fuck. Because my teachers don't care. I don't care. They said keep this, keep it un uncensored. Just for me, I'm gonna bleep it out just because I want to seem a little more professional. For you, I don't yeah. really care. Yeah, okay. Alright, so I see you got that No Smoke video coming soon, like I said. I'm um, excited. I've been with that song since you got signed to Listen Up Forever. And, uh, with that coming out, you got any new music coming out too? i seen you had that Loyalty song, but anything coming on platforms? Yes, I do. I have a lot more music coming along. I have something, uh, I don't know if I can say it, but I have some shit coming with 6 9 and Troll Sammy and all that good shit. Oh, a dude. Lot of shit is on the way, man. Damn, you got some shit six, dude. Yeah. You better come up real quick, bro. You better come up real quick. Clout. Yeah, you get you getting that clout. <laughs> the fuck you mean, but. <laughs> but uh, you got any artists or genres that inspire you right now? Uh, see, I've been expecting this question. And I've been thinking to myself, I would have to say Childish Gambino. Hey. Uh, let me go ahead and put Gigi Allen in. All right. And somebody who I really love that you guys should really dig into is Jay Retard. He's amazing. He makes rock and shit, everything. Uh, who else? I don't know. Let me see. This is hard. Chance the Rapper. I like him. Hell yeah. He's cool. I mm -hmm. just dig into a lot of shit. I like EDM and a lot of stuff. Not really EDM, but yeah, that's a hard question. As you can see, I can't even answer that. <laughs> yeah, that could throw a lot of people off. I know that shit. If somebody asked me that shit straight up, I don't know exactly what I'd say. But, uh, so, you have any jobs before you rap? You still got any job right now? No, I do not have a job. I never had a job. Never I'm, had a job? No, never had a job. Alright, so how old are you? I am 17. 17? Shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so you currently enrolled in high school or you out of that shit? I'm doing online school. You're doing... That is very lonely, but yes, online school. 
online school. I kind of, I kind of wish I grew up in that in that scene a little bit. I was in this kind of a big ass public school, like four thousand kids, and that shit was getting kind of yeah, annoying. You know, yeah, it's so, hard, and yeah. having to get along with people and yeah. anxiety is a hoe. Yeah, that, it is a hoe, and I, I kind of struggle with that too a little bit. So, yeah, um, I understand you. I totally get that. And no, I get yeah. It's just like. I'd, I'd probably be the least person anybody would expect it from, though, because, you know, I was kind of successful with uh, with uh, sports and shit. I was pretty good yeah, at football. The, Nobody expects that shit, but, you know, people yeah, people hide that shit. Yeah, and that's... The, it's not even really the bad part. It's being... Having to deal with it and having to control it, especially in public, it's hard. Yeah, so. absolutely, bro. But uh, no jobs before this rap shit. This rap shit, though, this has gotten you... You know, a lot of clout has gotten you pretty big, bro. You got 8,000 followers on IG from just a couple posts from Ronnie J. And you ain't yeah, even exactly. following nobody. So that shit, that's big. And, bro, you got these songs of 6 ix 9 you're going to blow up for sure, for sure. Yeah, and a lot of stuff is coming. And I want to do gaming. I want to make videos. I want to I seen that. Write, I want to write plays. I want to do everything. All right, bro. You, so you're versatile with it. I see them gaming videos out there you post on your channel. I'll be watching that shit. I'll be, yeah, I'll be I, did you it, I did it last month or some shit, and yeah. right now I'm kind of caught up. I need to go ahead and buy new recording software, so those are going to keep coming sometime soon, and yeah. Hell yeah. I guess for my final question, you don't really have to answer this. I mean, I know this is kind of a personal one, but uh, yeah, what's up? do you have any uh, religions right now that you follow or you you got brought up on? I'm, I'm okay with answering this. All right. Okay, so... No, I actually do not, and what I tell people, even my aunt, I had to tell, is I'm a hollow shell, meaning I don't know what to believe in. Maybe there is some type of high power that created everything, and it just came to this big shit on a planet, but no, I'm, I'm really a hollow shell. I don't know what to follow, what to do, but in the meantime, I try to believe in myself. I look up to myself, and yeah, that's it. I... Did you get raised on anything, or did you just, just kind of no, adapt actually, that way? No, I went to church a few times, you know, but then I stopped around. Not, I did not stop my father and my stepmom stopped taking us. I don't know why, but we stopped around, what, 2010, 2009. So, yeah, that's it. And from that point on, I've been on my own. All right, bro, I see you out here. But this is Leave Me Alone, artist signed under Listen Up Forever. Yeah, uh, thank th you so much, man. This is awesome. Yeah, no, thank you, dude. This is <laughs> I appreciate it, bro. I'm on a little bit of a... I got a little time left, but this is perfect timing, actually, matter of fact. So, all right, bro. Thanks. I appreciate it a lot. You're the best, bro. Have a good one. Yeah, keep in touch. You too, man. Text me anytime. All right. Sounds good. That's it. Awesome. Big shout out to Leave Me Alone for allowing me to do this interview as a small channel. Creator Stan is my name with just under 200 subscribers. It's just a... A complete honor that he allowed me to do this um, this was for a project that I had to do however I think we both enjoyed the Q&A uh, this is a shorter one it's not your typical interview 30 minutes to an hour no jumper type but it is a good one and there's a lot of good information you can hear if you're a fan of leave me alone please make sure to email me if you have any questions about use of this audio because I do need to get in contact of leave me alone if anybody else wants to use this I can't allow you permission for the words that's coming out of his mouth. Thank you.